here I have my spool of CSST gas line, and I'm just going to uh, run this. A couple of runs, we're just going to rough them in until we make our final hookups. Now, if you were to buy this at your home center, it's going to be in smaller roll and a lot easier to work with. But the installation is very similar. line run. You can see how I have my spool set up. I have just between two liners and a piece of pipe to make it easier to unspool. So that's my main type setup. Here we are at the hot water tank and I have a little too much fat here so I'm going to feed it back a little bit. Because that's a hot water tank. I don't like feeding the line down to the tank. Because what you have is just this hanging in midair. And it's not really that rigid. So for the hot water tank, I like running a piece of black iron from the uh, valve up to the joist to hook it up. So I have way too much here. So I'm going to feed it back a little bit. But I'm going to leave some extra. So I have room to tie it in. So I'll just leave that hang there and that's where it's going to be. Next I'm just going to cut this to length. I don't even have my rough cutter here with me today. So we're just using a regular cutter to get our rough cuts in before we make our final cuts for hook. Okay, there we have it. We made a rough cut. And I'm going to repeat that process a couple times to get all of our lines ready. Our manifold will go in this area where our lines are, and we'll show you as we do that. You see, we have our ground wire. Already run, ready to go. We have the line for the the dryer in, and I'm gonna run that down a piece of wood. So I'm okay with running that like that. It's not hanging in midair. The hot water tank, we're gonna run black iron from the tank up to the ceiling, just so we don't have line running in midair where someone can grab it and yank on it and pull it. <laughs> 